Hello everybody, this is Andrew Pukowski checking in again from the fish room. Today's video is going to be about my Gerard and Nicthys viviparous colony, also known as the Chapultepec split fin. This is a critically endangered gidid, endemic to the area around Mexico City. There are two species within the genus. Gerardnichthys multiradiatus is the other, the golden sailfin, which we can take a look at right now. Golden sailfin, beautiful little creature. The viviparis was actually described back in 1837, originally as Saprinus viviparis. Saprinus, you may recognize, is actually uh, the the genus name for carp or koi. And this was one of the first fish in which live birth was actually observed, going back to the uh, 18th century, which is pretty wild. You can see the babies are starting to sex out. They're closing in on four months old. And luckily, the female, even though I had mentioned she did pass shortly after birth, um, I did actually have enough where I could donate some fish to the uh, North American Gideon Working Group at the last ALA convention. Alright, and you guys know I love the etymology. The name Gerard Nicties is an honorific. The genus was named back in 1860 for the French ichthyologist Charles Frederick Girard, who actually did a lot of his work like that in the U.S. under um, Louis Agassiz. I did just sprinkle in some shrimp pellets. For some of the smaller fish, I do just grind up shrimp pellets pretty regularly and this species is a little bit more carnivorous. So you might be asking yourself, what other Gideon are these guys closely related? Where does it fit with all the others? So this genus is actually the namesake for the tribe, Gerard Nicthini, which in addition to this species, also contains the Scyphia and the more closely related genus Neotoka, which we can take a look at real quick. Neotoka by Laniata. This here is Scyphia lerme, also known as the Olive Scyphia. This is Scyphia multipunctata. Super cool fish. Another thing I love about is wiggling your fingers at the glass. <laughs> Love it, love it. Scythia multipunctata, Lago de Camiquaro. Beautiful creatures. And last but not least, here's the Scythia francese. You can see the males have the elaborate dorsal. That's definitely one thing to note about these closely related fish is the elaborate finish seen on the males. I love this tank. Baby, baby Francese swimming around, doing wonderful. Love it. 
extra pregnant female. All right, let's get back to the Gerard Nick thieves. Earlier on in the video, I mentioned that this species is critically endangered. And part of the reason for that is the pollution around the city, but also competition from non-native species and the parasites they carry. This fish was originally so common in the area there that when it was first observed back in the 19th century, or first being recorded, they noted that um, this was food that they were actually just giving to the poor. So they would just be able to go over to the ditches and net a whole bunch of them out, and this was, this was a common food source among the poor. But now, numbers in the wild basically non-existent. Many of the fish that are still survive, uh, surviving in the wild there um, carry parasites, which is tremendously sad. And one of the reasons why I feel like it's so important that we, when we have a chance to obtain a fish like this, that we do our best to provide for them and keep them going and try and share them with other people because, as you can see, they do well with the babies. There's no reason, there's no reason for these fish to be as rare as they are. So if you guys like what I'm doing, I hope you hit like and subscribe. I'll be sure to post more updates in the future because I know I'm gonna get some questions about it. Over here, this is a Bacopa uh, Carolineana. And then back there is some type of broadleaf rotala. I'm not even sure. When I bought the plant um, at the pet store, it was just, it was unlabeled. Miscellaneous plant. So anyway, we'll say bye from the Gerard Nickbees Viviparis. I hope you check out future, future videos. Thanks for watching.